Hey guys, today we're looking at a new product from the makers of Doodly. It is called the People Builder and it is a custom character builder where you can create a character custom and then import it into your Doodly projects and they write on just like the rest of the characters in Doodly do. This video is not sponsored. I paid for People Builder with my own money. I spent $47 on it. And you might know from watching my channel that of the vi the whiteboard video makers that I have reviewed, I do really like Doodly. I think it's a great value. And while there are upsells, if you want particular characters or particular doodles, you can actually import your own images so you don't have to pay for illustrations within Doodly to add custom illustrations that you can find elsewhere online or that you can create yourself. So I actually like Doodly a lot. In fact, I liked it so much that I created a masterclass called the Doodly Genius Track. If you're interested in that, uh, and how to get the most out of Doodly, you can find it on my website at jenjager.com. But for today, we're just going to be talking about this new People Builder. It's actually a separate platform from Doodly. All right, so here we are in People Builder. We're going to just create a new person. It's really simple to do this. And I'm going to just create someone that looks like myself. Why not? And just to give you a quick tour of the interface, here are all your presets for the types of bodies and types of actions that you can choose from. And then you can sort by male or female and you can search by action in that way as well. And then here is the rainbow feature which colors in each of the illustrations. Now in Doodly, the rainbow feature is actually a paid add-on. Here in People Builder, it just comes with it. You just need to decide upfront, do you want your person to be colored in or not colored in? Let's go with colored in characters today. So I'm going to leave the rainbow on. If I wanted it off, I would just select this. And let's choose a woman. How about her? She's got a little attitude. Okay, so now that we've selected our character, here she appears right in the middle of our canvas here, and now we can start doing the customizations. The first customizations we can make are to the head. So we can choose between these three skin tones. You guys, it's not a lot of skin tones in here. Um, if you saw my Beyond review that I recently did that I will link to here, you can make people's skin tones literally any color of the rainbow. Here in Doodly, there's just three colors. I don't know that I find this totally sufficient to be honest with you, but let's just keep moving forward. I'm going to leave her on the skin tone closest to my own and we just need to choose a hairstyle here. Frankly, none of these hairstyles really look like mine. I guess let's just pick this one. Next, we move down to face. Now these faces don't really replicate someone's actual physical features. It's really more about the expression. It's not really so custom. I want her to look happy. She looks a little bored. Now let's move on down to the body. And this is where we can choose her outfit. I'm wearing green today, so let's do that. And then the arms are separate. And again, these are not about arm positions. It's just about what she's wearing. To be honest with you, it's unclear to me why you would pick the arms separate from the body because it's not like you can reposition the arms and what they're doing. It's really just about making the arms match the shirt. I do find that a little odd. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's go down to the legs. Now I can choose what kind of bottoms she's going to be wearing. Why don't we go with this look. All right, so there is our doodle. Now we can change how long it takes to animate our doodle character on by using this field down here. We can reduce it second by second. Let's say five seconds here. And then we can preview it by hitting this preview button here at the top. Now we can change the style of hand that draws in our character once we bring our character into doodly. And let me show you how to do that right now. I'm gonna close out of that. We're gonna head on up to the top right corner and hit that export button. And what you wanna do here is leave the file format to this DAS. This is the custom Doodly file type that's gonna work within the Doodly platform. Um, but you could make it a PNG, a JPEG, 
or a WebP file. And that's interesting to note that you don't have to be a Doodly user to use the People Builder if you're trying to make, let's say, a print material or something like that. You can create these custom characters without having to hand draw them and bring them into Photoshop or any other kind of project, which is kind of an interesting feature. But for today, I'm gonna to leave it on that DAS. It says it was exported successfully. Now let's open up Doodly. Let's create a new video. Let's go Glassboard. And here we are in our new Doodly project. Let's head on over to Characters at the top left of the screen. And let's hit this plus sign. And we can browse our files. There she is. We'll hit Continue. And now here she is in Doodly, and you can do all the same things in Doodly with this character that you would do with any of the pre-built characters that also come with Doodly. So that is how it works between People Builder and Doodly. I'd say they integrate pretty well. It's very easy to use. Um, what are my final thoughts on this? I would say that the customizability of the characters isn't as robust as I would hope it would be because I really was expecting that I'd be able to create specific facial features, um, take one hairstyle and make it another color, which you can do in other platforms. Um, and so that isn't amazing to me, but I do like that Doodly has taken the step to create and offer these custom characters. Um, I like that you can use these custom characters outside of Doodly for other things. And knowing the Doodly team, I'm gonna expect that they're going to be adding more poses um, as time goes on because they're always adding and adding and adding to this platform, which is one of the other things I really like about it. They're always developing it. But if they were watching this video and they wanted to know what I really thought, I wish there were more skin tones and I wish there were more facial features. And I wish that you could, like I said, take a particular hairstyle and change the color of that hair because I couldn't find a hairstyle that say that like matched my color and style at the same time time. So the People Builder, I would say if you're a big Doodly user, it's definitely worth adding on. I will link to it below if you want to check it out. Um, but I think there's more room for improvement on it. You guys, I'm always super honest in my reviews. I really appreciate the feedback I get from you about my honesty. You guys seem to appreciate it a lot. If you have not subscribed to my channel, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments anything else you want me to check out. I love doing these things for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again.